G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Look what I've got, a huge sunflower. Now, you may be thinking you've already seen this and you kind of have. If you've seen my other video where I did my sunflower clock, this was used, um, or I did this using my other silicon mold. Um, it was really thick, very, very heavy. It was 1.3 1.4 kilos I think the actual mold it was very expensive to make very expensive to ship um, and so I made this one for you it's um it's the same size but um it's it's much lighter weight so it's much cheaper for me to make for you much much cheaper for me to ship it only weighs 350 grams as opposed to, yeah, I think, actually, I think it was one and a half kilo. So it's a big difference, okay? So I'm going to pour in it today and uh, we'll just see how it turns out. So this one I did golds, uh, just mica powder, golds and greens and some brown. And then I topped it with um, basically white with a little bit of gold in it. So today, uh, just to try something different, I thought I'd go back to my chameleon powders and see how we go with that so out of these two um, intense chameleon powders because one's um one's called green one's called blue anyway i've picked out a few colors we've got a couple of greens this one's called green and this one's fairy green and then I've got a couple of, well, three kind of goldy, orangish. This one's maple, gold, and red cherry. So, and taking inspiration from some sunflowers that I have Googled. And they're not all yellow. Some of them have got orange and reds and all kinds of gorgeous colors in them. So, I'm going to do that. So, basically, I'm just going to make a start. I'll do a little bit, and then um, I'll put you on fast forward because... It's probably going to take a while, so I'm going to get in in here. See, 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 it goes way down in there. Let me get in there, okay? So I'm just going to kind of, it's going to kind of do some sort of straps here and there. Um, I don't want them all to be the same. I want just sort of graduated colours here and there. Basically, I don't really know what I'm doing until I do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, just just sort of just kind of blending the colours a little bit, really. That's what I'm going to try and do, rather than just like block colours. And also, it's probably a bit easier <laughs> to because you know if you make a mistake and you get like one colour mixed into one of the others, it's not really going to matter because you know they're all going to be kind of blended. So that's kind of the look that I'm going for today, and um, yeah, we'll see how it see how it turns out, hey? So that's that one. I'm not even going to clean my brush in between. I do need to get that out of there though, because that's going to be green. So this is my next color. So again, just going over the tops of them next to it just basically whatever <laughs> just to kind of get some nice blending shading and then the other color will just finish finish it off wherever i haven't put any color does that make sense and hopefully it will hopefully it'll look pretty so when you're doing this you've got to get the sides as well and you're going to get in here as well okay like that it's looking amazing already so yeah you can see what I'm doing I'm just gonna go in with this one uh, and then you know the next one I'll go in with a different color that can go up there put some of this down here Hopefully we'll get a really nice sort of natural kind of blended sunflower, hopefully. And 
and I will have to go and tip it upside down in into my bin later on so that I can get all the excess off. Get in there. All right, so that's that one. And then this other one is the red cherry. Be a bit careful where I get over here. I'm going to have to clean that up because I don't want that in my green section. So just filling in with the red cherry now wherever I see a little bit of white I'll put that red cherry but um, you can go back if you want some more of one of the other colors Gonna make sure that you get in there and now the best color to back anything that have, that's got chameleon powders is black because it makes the colors really pop so I'll be mixing up some black once I'm done here and uh, I'll pull that over the top but I will show you what I'm doing I won't do it without you don't worry I know I'm making a bit of a mess here I'm trying to go fast I was going to put you on fast forward but Right, so basically that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going with the red cherry. Um, I'm going to just take this over the bin, flip it upside down and see if I can get some of this dust out. Then I can start doing the green on the inside. Okay, so um, I flicked it over. I'm not too worried about any little bits, you know, in there. Um, oh, I guess if it's a covering the whole little triangle, I'll take it out, but... Like I said, blending, hey, blending. It's nature. It doesn't have straight lines. It's blended. Although if there's a lot in it, then I'll, I'll take it out just with a baby wipe like so. All right, so um, the next thing I want to do, now I've changed brushes. So I can use this one again in a minute, but I want to do a little bit of the green. And I haven't decided yet. If I want to do brown in the middle, I don't, I don't have like a chameleon brown. I've only got this brown mica powder. So I may just do that in there. We'll, we'll see what happens. But basically, I want to try and get this, this darker green just around this little outside rim here. Like so. There's little tiny leaves or petals or whatever they are these little guys and again i'm rushing i'm making a bit of a mess if i, if I didn't have you watching i'd take my time more but look it's it's only mica powder you know you can you can wipe it off it's not a not a drama if you spill some or you go over an extra area that you're not supposed to you can just wipe it off no biggie Okay, so that's that's the edges done there in the darker green. Um, and now I'm just going to do what I did with the leaves. I'm just going to kind of dab. My husband's just got home. Excuse the dogs. I don't need a doorbell. <laughs> I have dogs. <laughs> I don't need a doorbell at all. So hopefully this will give us a little bit of, you know, a bit of blending. Like so. That's that one, that's the green, and then we'll go to the fairy green as well. Do a little bit of dab dab dabbing of that one in those areas that are still white. Like so, it's looking really pretty. Happy with it so far. Yay! <laughs> And of course, you know, if you're doing this, if you decide you want to buy this mold and you want to do a sunflower, you or any any flower, I guess it lends itself more to a sunflower, but you know, you can do whatever colour you want. Um, this one, I'm just trying to think what I want to do with it. I may actually 
may turn it into a bowl. How's that sound? A nice big fruit bowl or a bowl for your bread rolls or something. Just, just a gorgeous bowl to have sitting in your kitchen. I may do that. I may turn it into a bowl because the last one I did is a clock. You don't have to do it as a clock. If you want to do it as a clock, you just have to, you know, when it's done, you just have to drill through the centre. Um, or you could just have it as a wall plug. You can put it on a plate stand. You can just have it as a tray. Um, but you can also do a lovely bowl with it. So, yes. All right. So I'm going to continue with the red cherry. And I think I will just do this area in my brown. Just wipe that off with the baby wipe. Now I'm going to wait for that to dry. Don't start dusting on it straight away. Wait till it's dry. So I'll come back to it. But I will do it just in this chocolate brown, I think. Um, well, yeah, that's my cherry there. All right, so I'm going to put you on to a time lapse. A bit of a time lapse. We'll do the time warp. And uh, I'll catch up with you once I've finished with the petals. Um, and then we'll do the, um, the brown centre together. All right, I'll wait for you. that is done can you see any kind of different colors going on in there hopefully it's looking really pretty hopefully it looks like a sunflower all right so now i'm just wiping off my brush with on some paper towel and uh i'm gonna pop a little bit of this brown in the center just like that i don't think we need to do two different shades of brown i think just the one will be enough you could put some little pebbles in there I don't know if this is going to be a very dark brown but <laughs> never mind it's a brown it's kind of a coppery brown but with the black background it may look a bit darker okay so that is it done skis all right it's looking nice isn't it Give it a bit of a blow. <laughs> there we go. All right. So uh, I'm going to mix up my resin. And I think I'll, I can't remember actually how much I used. I'll just pop this on the scale and see what it weighs. And then I can make up a similar amount. Is that a good idea? I think it is. Right. Big cup of black resin i added some black pigment paste to it big scoop mixed it for four minutes hopefully it's good now the resin i'm using this is the let's resin just the regular let's resin not the deep not the fast cure just the regular I was a bit worried about two reasons why I'm not using the Platinum Ultra, uh, Platinum 360 Plus is I'm all, almost out of it. <laughs> and this is quite deep. It's about that, that deep. <laughs> 15 mil, 1.5 centimeters. Mm, not quite sure what those are in inches. Nearly an inch. It's quite deep. So the 360 Plus would flash cure in this. And so I'm just going to use the like I said, the um, Let's Resin. So it's a it's a one-to-one. -one. Hopefully I've got enough. <laughs> I can just mix up another little bit if I have to. Um, I'm, I haven't used it before to make a bowl. So I don't know how long it's going to take to cure. Okay, I need more. <laughs> you know how you need to wait till it gets to that particular point where it's touch dry but still kind of soft enough to 
mold in a bowl or something like that so um, yeah I, I don't know I haven't used it for that before and I obviously need to make some more I did weigh my other sunflower but I mustn't have filled it all the way <laughs> When I made it, I mustn't have filled it all the way. You don't have to fill this all the way. You know, it's got quite deep petals here. If you don't want to fill them all the way, you don't have to, but I will. I want to see what it looks like. So, quick little torch. Be careful not to burn your mold. Don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do. I'm going to mix up a little bit more. Um, and then I've got... I've only got four hours before I sort of got to get ready for bed tonight. So if if by some chance it's set enough for me to mould into a bowl, I will. Otherwise, it's going to be a plate. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to make up some more resin. You don't need to see me putting any more black in. It's self-explanatory. I will see you at the next stage, whichever that stage will be. Right, it's the next day. I did come and check it like five hours later and um, it was still too soft on the edges there to, to peel out. So I thought, oh, well, I'm going to bed. I'm not setting my clock for midnight or anything. I'm just going to bed and uh, we'll look at it in the morning. So that's what we're going to do. Let's have a little look. All right. Now, you have to remember that the petals go down in there. Look at that, in there. So need to unmold like carefully in there actually it's a little bit soft still maybe I can still do something with it let's just loosen it all the way around I don't know whether I can still bend it sometimes you can like heat your resin with your um, heat gun um, and it'll you know go a bit softer and then you can still mold it I don't know whether I've left it too long or not a lot of petals my gosh <laughs> round and round we go <laughs> round and round we go all right oh gosh those are a little bit soft under there all right I'm gonna I'm gonna oh god I don't even know how to unmold it that's the back I'm not sure how to unmold it let's just do this because this first time I'm using this mold you see bend all these little petals up it was so cold in the studio last night we got down to like another six or seven degrees celsius so it hasn't probably cured as fast as it could have oh look you guys look 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 oh my gosh oh my gosh this is so exciting are you ready are you ready okay i'm gonna do it here so that you can see <gasps> ready Ooh, wow, look at that! My goodness, look at that! There we go, it's out, it's out. Wow, that is amazing. Oh, I had one little tiny bubble in there, look at that. That's okay, I can fill that with some UV resin. And um, I was forgetting that my the tips, the tips were all... I was thinking that it wasn't set and it was bent, but <laughs> I forgot that... When I designed it, I made the little tips like bent. Oh, it just takes such a long time <laughs> to, um, you know, design a mold. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at it. That is so good. All right, let's see if we can pick up the different colors. Look at that. Now we get some oranges and yellows that way. And then when you tip it this way, you get those more ready pinky tones. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Now look at the depth on the side there. You've got this row on the bottom, which is more sort of flat, I guess. But in here they're still textured, like they they still like they're still textured and oh, it's hard to explain, <laughs> they're not just flat. And then these ones here, they've got all the different shapes and dips and rises and all of that on there, so Wow, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, um, so yeah, you could, actually probably, it's not, look, look you guys, it's bending, it's bending. My gosh, I could still probably, look, I could probably still put it into a, a shallow bowl and just heat it slightly. <gasps> I wonder if I could. 
I wonder if I could. Oh, now I want to go and find a bowl. This might not be, this might not be wide enough. It might not be wide enough. So it's basically the same size. The petals, the outer petals are the same size as the bowl. You probably can't see very well now because I've raised it up. We'll just have a little go. Like I don't want to damage it, but we'll just have a little go and see if I can just get it to bend ever so slightly. If I think I'm going to ruin it, I'm going to stop because it, I love it. You know, when I got up this morning, I thought, yeah, it's unmolding day. And then I thought, oh, it's going to be cured rock hard, you know, by now. So I didn't rush to the studio to have a look. I, um, I fed the dogs and, you know, cleaned up after the puppies. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> um, and then went and had my coffee and then I thought, and I did some work on the computer and then I thought, okay, let's go and unmold. But um, if I'd come out, you know, a couple of hours earlier, be careful you don't burn your hands. You know, I might have been able to mold it a little bit better, but I just didn't, I just didn't think that it would I'd have a chance to do it. Probably need to put something. Oh, look, you guys, it's moving. It's doing it. I will have to fix that. I can just put some um, UV resin on that. I need to put something heavy on that because I'm going to burn my hand. Right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to heat this side a bit. And then we'll turn it and heat this side a bit. Turn. And turn. I'll put my fingers away so I don't burn my hands. Probably need to put something heavy in the middle there. Oh, I can't believe it's doing it. Ow! <laughs> Can someone come and hold that for me while I turn my bowl? All right. Look, you guys! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it's doing it. <gasps> now, when you're doing this sort of thing with resin, make sure that you're using like a plastic bowl that, that you can, it's got a little bit of give in it because you'd hate for your resin to get stuck. In there. And I'm just doing this really carefully because I don't want to break my resin but as you can see it's still quite bendy and just that extra little bit of heat I've only got it on low my XU1 heat gun just got it on low I'm just heating the petals it's actually a nice size bowl for it isn't it push it again I hope I don't break my bowl <laughs> that's the only worry that my bowl breaks this side's a bit higher than that side. I just need to heat this bit again. What do you think? Are you loving my bowl? <laughs> I really wanted to do the bowl. So, right, this, is, this side needs to go in a little bit more. And I think what I'll need to do is um, just put a piece of plastic in there and then put a weight on it, like a big heavy piece, a big bottle of resin in there just to weight that center down just heating it gently pushing it that side's down it's just this side that needs a little bit more I can kind of feel where it needs to go I'm pushing on these little outer petals here not sure if they're petals or leaves but I'm just kind of pushing from there this bit here this bowl's actually got like a flat base and then it swoops up okay I think that's almost it you guys oh, I'm so happy that it's worked I was a bit depressed when I went to bed last night I thought oh I'm not gonna get my bowl <laughs> I'm just gonna have a platter but I got my bowl always worth a try isn't it okay I think that will do I don't think I can press it down any more than that the bolts textured on the outside but it's smooth on the inside okay I think that's it I don't think I can push it down any more it seems to be Seems to be good. 
All right, now, um, just use this plastic bag just to put there, like so. And then I'll get a big bottle of resin. This is a nice one, nice rounded base. And just give it a push. And that's pretty much it. All right. Yay! <laughs> and it can just sit there and, and cure now for the next couple of hours. So what do you think? So happy, so happy, so happy. All right. I'll, um, I'll see you in a few hours. And, uh, well, well, as soon as it's cured totally. We don't want to take it out when it's bendy, otherwise it might just flop back again. Yay! Right. I've actually left this another day just because the little tips were a little bit soft and um, I didn't want them to flop over. So today is the day. Get rid of that. And that. Now, um, okay, it's kind of stuck in there. So this is why it's a really good idea to have something plastic that bends. Because I can just kind of push that like that. Oh, <laughs> and it just pops straight out. Oh, wow. Look at that, you guys. I made a bowl. I made a bowl. <laughs> Look at that. That's the shape of it. It's not really very deep bowl, but look, it's it's deep enough for sure. Look at the colours on it. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It's flat on the bottom, so it's not going to wobble at all. It stays flat. Alrighty, let's go and have a look at some of the colours, if we can, I know you can see them there, but we'll just go and have a look, a little walk around the studio and um, see what colours we can pick up without these bright LEDs shining on it, hey? It might help if I took you with me. I just got up and walked off. Uh, yeah, come with me. Let's go and have a look, hey? That's better. Now I'll step off my little step. All right, I'll go over here. You can see that colour. Look at that. It's picking up that pinky colour. And over there on my left, it's picking up that um, cherry, the red tones. And of course, we've got lots of the gold as well. And then I just had a little bit of that pink and red in there as well. And then with the green in the center, you can see it's kind of a mottled green. It's not just a block of green. We've got different shades of greens in there. And there's our brown center. Oh, so gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, now I must tell you, um, the this sunflower mold is in my eBay store at the moment. Um, I think it's probably going to be another week before it hits the Amazon store. Um, well, it's it's there, but you know it just takes quite a while to um, get unpacked and put on the shelves and get all sorted. So you might just have to, if you want to go through the Amazon store, the US Amazon store, you might just have to wait a week. Um, but yeah, if you if you want it through the eBay store, it is available now, and I will link it for you down in the description. So there it is. Hope you love it as much as I do. And it's a yeah, really cost-effective way of getting such a big mould. So jump on and grab yourself one and then show me what you do with it. I'd love to see your options of what you've done with it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all again real soon for the next video. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye for now.